What's up? What it do? What's good? What's poppin'? What's going on? Ooh! <laughs> oh, because I was gay, you know, I hated black. Today, I am gonna be reacting to Shane Dawson's apology video, which is titled, Taking Accountability. So, you guys don't know what's going on with this Shane Dawson situation. Basically, like, he got exposed, like, exposed, exposed for being racist and exposed for participating in the PEDO philia community. So, like, he issued an apology and stuff like that. And the word on the street is he been deleting comments from from his video and the word on the street is that people been making memes about this whole situation so like i was like hold up what's the tea let me join in the tea let me react to this you know what i'm saying sir uh i used to watch you back in late grade tough grade like why you why you like me i am a certified analysis a self-certified analysis because this is the internet and I can be what I want to be. So let's get to this video. Let's not waste any time because this junk is 20 minutes and 20 seconds. So this apology better be fire <laughs> because ain't no reason. Your apology video should be done long. Ain't no reason. Hi. If you've been watching me for a while, then you know that I have done a lot of things in my past that I hate, that I wish I could make go away, that I try to make go away by uh, deleting videos or untagging my Instagram things or literally doing whatever I can to pretend like those things didn't happen. Okay, so like the first thing about this video is how he was saying that he tried to pretend that what he did did not happen. That is a big red flag. If you wanna grow, you can't just see or pretend like it didn't happen. You have to address it and you have to soak in it so that you cannot do it again because if you sit up here pretend like it did happen like oh my gosh like that's not me that's a whole dear person you know what i'm saying then you're prone to doing it again because in your head it never happened so if it happened again it's gonna be like the first time all over again so pretending that it didn't happen is not the way to go addressing it and letting it be known that it happened and that it will never happen again it's the way to go because yes i apologize for a lot of them but we don't want no apology we want an apology okay ain't no in between and no apology we don't want that thank you we want an apology just straightforward straight to the point we got it good but i'm 31 almost 32 those apologies suck do not apologize if you're not wholeheartedly apologizing. I don't know who that person is anymore. Every apology video I've ever made has been a, from fear. It's, it's me sitting at home thinking the whole world hates me. Sir, this goes back to do not apologize if it's not wholeheartedly a sincere apology. Okay, he was apologizing out of fear. fear. He was apologizing because he thought, you know, the world gonna hate me. You're only apologizing because you got caught. Not because you just sat back one day and like, huh, let me scroll back to my old videos to see how I look and see, you know, like how I was because it's embarrassed and whatnot. <laughs> and you were just like, hmm, I did that. I did it. Oh, nah. I did it. I am so sorry. I am so sorry to the African American community because this is disgusting. If I do something wrong and in my head I, I believe that what I did is not wrong, I won't apologize until I understand why what I did is wrong. Because I don't want to apologize for something if I don't even know what I'm apologizing for. If I don't even know what I'm sorry for. He saw that people was dragging him. He was like, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Let me, let me say sorry real quick because that's what they want to hear because that's what it's like he was doing. He only apologized because that's what he thought he wanted to hear. He only apologized because he didn't want to get canceled. He didn't want people to hate him. He want people to see him in a nice light. But the thing is, nobody is perfect. You are going to make mistakes. Sweet people make mistakes too, so you gotta address it. You can't sit up here pretending like it never happened. You can't sit up here apologizing because that's what people wanna hear. I don't wanna hear it. And crying and hyperventilating and then just turning on a webcam and just saying I'm sorry and then hoping people know I'm a good person and then it'll go away. And that is stupid. That is something that a child does. Not something that a 31 year old uh, 
man does. That's not, that's not good. Right now is very much a time of wanting people to be accountable, wanting uh, punishment for people. And I agree. And that's why I'm making this video. I saw Jenna Marble's video and it really inspired me and felt like a- The way he explained cancel culture or whatever, it's more about accountability. If we see that you are not holding yourself accountable for the things that you have done, for the things that you have said, then we will go out of our way to make sure that somebody holds you accountable since you're not trying to do that for yourself. Okay. Let's say you did all of this, whatever, whatever, and we saw growth. We saw that you separated yourself from your friends who are also racist. You took down your videos completely. You took down the merch from your racist character. So you just stopped profiting from this whole controversial situation. Then, okay, we'll be like, oh, I can never burn the light. Blah, blah, blah. You did your part. If you did your part to help the black community, you can't really like focus on his past because he's a better person now. and it seems here that he's trying to disassociate it seems that he's trying to disassociate <laughs> I can't speak English sorry he's trying to disassociate from what he did and say like I don't know who this person is but it's you okay it is you you need to just be like that person um is me but I am no longer that ignorant or something like that you know so even though what I said kind of didn't make no sense or whatever but he just needs to be like I am no longer that ignorant that is me all the things that people are saying that I did I did that I regret it and I no longer want to be associated with that side of me because that side of me is toxic and I am a better person I have grown and I will show you how I have grown <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and then when he said he was inspired by Jenna Marbles, do not let yourself be inspired by no Jenna Marbles. Okay. Like, every second I keep forgetting who that girl is, and then I'm like, oh, that's a girl who abused her dog. That girl. Okay, that girl. I know her. I know her. So, do not let yourself be inspired by that girl, because, like, sir, that's not somebody you want to be with inspiration. Okay. Put it like date. Put it like date. So, like, sir, just, you shouldn't be apologizing because you saw somebody else do it. Monkey see what could do. You know what I'm saying? Apologize because you realize what you did was wrong. And that's that. And you want to address what it is, how it is, how it was, and how it's going to be. It's going to be different. I'm different. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. A different. Yeah, different. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Let me shut up. Let me shut up. Let me shut up right now. So this this video is coming from a place of just wanting to own up to my shit. Wanting to own up to everything I've done on the internet that has hurt people, that has added to a problem, that has not been handled well. Like I should have been punished for things. I feel like this I ain't never hear nobody ask to be punished in my life. <laughs> this match that I should have been punished. Like, what? No! No! The one thing that's kind of like irritating me with his apology is his eyebrows. Not that it's messy, whatever. It's just this little puppy dog eyebrow thing. It's getting on my nerves. It is getting on my nerves. Like, okay, you're sorry, but like, you don't gotta do the most. You gotta like, I just want to say that I'm sorry, and like, that's no one for me. Um, like, I was inspired by Jenna Marbles. Like, are you drunk? Hello? Hello, my friend? Fix your face, please. Fix your face. <sighs> it's just aggravating. The living... And don't say that I should be punished or I should have been punished. That will not be necessary if you just take self-accountability fully, as I was saying before. We're not going to seek action if you seek that action on yourself, okay? This seems to me like he's just saying what he thinks we want to hear. He's trying so hard to show us that he's sorry. But it's like, it's just not really feel, I'm just not feeling it. This is coming from somebody he used to watch from dude. And I am not feeling it at all. Me and my homegirls not feeling it. I feel like this moment right now is very necessary. I'm gonna apologize for a lot of things that I've done or said in this video. And if you don't accept the apology, that is 100% okay. I think that's something that I, as I'm getting older now, I'm realizing it's like, you can apologize, but you can't expect the other person to just forgive you. Like that's, 
that doesn't make any sense. So I think this video for me is more about just saying everything I wanna say and ways that I wanna help be a part of a change and not be a part of a problem. The first way you can be a part of a change is if you just change. Not just talking about how you wanna change, it's just you just doing it, okay? That's like somebody just keep apologizing for some men and just keep being repetitive. Sir, your friends are racist, so it's like at this point, and when you're L other, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all keep hearing accents, I don't know where, but like, yeah, it's in one ear, out the other. Other. Out the other. You freaking was supporting James Charles, Jeffrey, Star, Tana Mojo, etc. A lot of them are like that. If you're surrounding yourself by those people, people just gonna be like, you know, you just like, you just like. Because I, if I was white, you know, I would not be surrounded by racist friends. If I am not racist, I would not surround myself with people like that. Because they're filling my head up with these microaggressions and these stereotypes and these hateful things subconsciously. I am not here for it if I was white. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying if I was white because I'm white. Ain't no way I'm gonna be around somebody racist. I will fight you. <laughs> hey, hey. All about that violence. All, 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 all about that violence. <laughs> Let's get to the Racism that I put onto the internet as a adult, not a child. I was at least 20 when I started YouTube and I made the decision to play stereotypes of black people or Asian people or Mexicans or uh, pretty much every race, I made that decision. I said, oh, this is funny, and I put it on the internet. Yes, he's right about this part, but I'm not gonna only hold him accountable, I'm gonna hold his friends accountable too. And also his sister. Okay, because this is your brother. Y'all are grown folk. There are too many, and there has been too many resources out here. There's no reason why you should be racist. There has just been too many resources. Y'all have no excuse at all. It's it's, I don't understand how somebody can write a script for it, record it, think of the costume, etc. Type a description, post the video, all this extra stuff. But I'm not only blaming him, it's the people that he surrounded himself with. Because you had to have been like, oh, what you think of this video, friend? And your friend was like, yeah, that's, that's hilarious. Racism is so funny. His friends have to partake in this some way, somehow. You know, people change, people grow. Let me not judge so much. And this is only two minutes and 45 seconds. Oh my gosh. Sir, just say you sorry, what you sorry for. And all the instances that were extremely racist and P-E-D-O-philia. You know what I'm saying? Because this is just too much. The internet. Now, years later, I look back at that and, and I've talked about this before, but I, when I say I hate that person, I mean it in the most intense way possible. I hate that person so much. That person was filled with sadness, filled with anger about their own issues, uh, in the closet, constantly uh, projecting on others, just like, I don't know, just that. At this point, sir, this just feels like you're trying to like divert the blame from you onto this person. You know, just say the person I was. Don't say this person as it is like a whole, no, the person was you. So say the person I was. I hate the person I was. I intensely hate the person I was. Not because you had your own personal issues. Not because you were in the closet. Just because you just thought it was funny. Because the people around you made you think it was also funny. Okay? Because like what you go through don't just make you racist. You have to have heard it from somewhere. It's not because oh you're projecting. If you were projecting, if it was like self-hate because you were a closeted gay whatever, it would be more towards people will like you not towards minorities we ain't got nothing to do with you we ain't closeted minorities okay so how is it projecting that's a whole different category being gay being a minority even though you can be both you can't just be like oh because i was gay you know i hated blacks <laughs> Did I lie? not a good mix sir make it make sense make it make sense that person is someone who i don't like seeing and I think that's why I've been avoiding this because I'm like, no, I already apologize. I don't want to go back. I don't want to see it again. I don't want to see it. Uh, mute it on Twitter. Uh, mute, untag it on my Instagram. Like, I just don't, I hate that person. I don't think that he hate the person. I think he just hate it bring it. Where's my lip gloss, first of all? Are you listening? Honestly, I don't think he hates 
from the person too much i think he just hates this situation being brought up because if it hadn't been brought up ever he wouldn't have ever apologized for it to be honest if he wasn't called out he would never apologize and yeah you apologize but it must have not been a good or sincere apology for people to bring it back up again that apology must have been trash as heck it is about the people you have offended so apologize as much times as it takes for people to gain that respect for you back that's all it is i would hate to be in his shoe child oh my gosh so much okay so sorry so first let's start with blackface blackface was something that i did a lot like i did it a lot on my channel and there is no excuse for it there's literally no excuse i made a video six years ago talking about it and i gave excuses and i knew it was wrong and i knew i would never wanted to do it again but i didn't do the work i didn't actually look into the history of it and why it's so wrong i think it's really sad that he at his grown age did not know what blackface was and that just goes to show that the American schooling system is trash. It is trash, okay? The schooling system is so focused on freaking white history. Like, look, I'm over it. I'm over it. I knew this stuff. I knew about that face. Younger than him. I'm 20 now, but I've been to it. That is so sad. That is so sad. For the amount of times that you have done blackface, which you're saying it was a lot. A lot. Like, a, a lot. lot. For you to not even have been, like, curious, to be like, you know, where am I getting this from? Like, why am I so fascinated with painting my face dark? Like, where is this? And why people were so upset. Because my excuse, oh, I was, I was just being funny. I, I love black people. I'm not racist. I was trying to be funny. Like I, all of that is stupid and wrong. And I put that onto the internet as an adult. And that is insane. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I am so sorry to anybody that saw that and that also saw that people were lifting me up and we're saying, you're so funny, Shane. Oh my God, you're so funny. Like, I, I can't even put- I'm not really buying that he didn't know what it was or why it was wrong. He knew it was wrong and was just making fun of it being wrong to get a reaction. Because like, what? Like, I just don't get it. Like, how do you do something so much and not get curious to look into it? Like, if I would have done it the first time, I would have just been like, okay, why am I doing this? And then I would just stop from there because I would be like, oh snap, this is disgusting. White people and black people got like two different histories. It's like we have two different perceptions of history. Most. And that is sad. Put myself in that head. I can't even imagine what it would be like to be black and to see this white fucking guy do blackface. And the whole internet at that time being like, LOL. That's insane. And I am so sorry i don't know how to even fully apologize because it almost it seems like something that is uh irredeemable or i don't know the right word but it's something that i shouldn't even be able to get out of i should lose everything for that i can it shouldn't be taken from you you should take it from yourself because if you take it from yourself then people are gonna be like oh snap then this man is for real this man for real feels bad i personally would not have just been like oh guys punish me sacrifice me put me on the stone instead like what out of respect for what i have done i would have pulled it for myself i don't have hate for any race or any people with weight issues or, or any of that special needs i don't have hate in my heart for anyone but it doesn't make up for the fact that i made jokes about everyone and some of the jokes were way too far and i think this year specifically really changed me as a person and i started seeing black people who i know who i'm friends with who i've known for a long time i'm seeing them openly talking about on their Instagram or Twitter the years of anger they've had about racist jokes. If you have had these black friends for years or whatnot, 
y'all should have been talking about it in person it shouldn't take instagram posts for you to understand their point of view or their take on racism or how they feel or them sharing their experiences on instagram it should be an in-person conversation it should be an in-person realization you know what i'm saying i cannot be friends with white people if i can't discuss race and race-based issues with them at all i refuse i refuse i rebuke sorry y'all my camera died but i am back to spread some more information for you about blackface about you know microaggressions everything that they've gone through and i felt like the biggest piece of shit in the entire world i felt awful and the biggest problem with me doing that and posting it on the internet was i'm glad that he was able to address how much of an impact he has on young people and the people that watch his videos when you do stuff like that people like you will be like you know it's okay he did it i don't see problem it was funny i laughed like nothing's wrong with it it's a joke i laughed da -da 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 -da. you know what i'm saying like, he's trying to just bury it and bury it and bury it keep burying it's just gonna come climbing out by itself so I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I added to the normalization of blackface or the normalization of saying the N-word. That's another thing. I mean, and, and my justification at the time for that was, oh, it was, you know, I was playing a character and it was in comedy and my black friend was there and, you know, that makes it okay. No, it's not okay. And it's not a funny word, especially for a white person to say. Me as a white person wearing a wig and playing a character and doing stereotypes and then saying the N-word is something that I should have probably lost my career for. To be honest, at the time he should have lost his career. <laughs> you white, sir, it's not gonna happen like that. Being a part of the normalization of PEDophilia, that's what I'm not hearing from this apology and it's six minutes and 42 seconds in. If you're gonna apologize for this, apologize for everything. He's just way too old for all of this. And I pray to God, Lord, Father, God, please do not let me <laughs> be this ignorant, okay? Ever. I do not want to be this ignorant. How can one person just, oh my gosh. Anyways, I wanted to keep doing it, but y'all, I'm sorry. I'm gonna sleep. This video just, it don't even intrigue me to understand more it's just sir it's just too damn long it's only 10 minutes in and just it's just it don't need to be this long and uh, my next video i'm going to be reacting to tati westbrook or part of it because that jump might be long so i ain't got time for so i'm gonna be reacting to tati westbrook's video or whatever time it is 